State Posse. This is the way wrestling should be. Let's see if they back that up in the ring. I mean, because they haven't done anything right now. So let's see what this their true. version of wrestling is. Because I'm very interested in the fight. As am I. It should be a great match between what looks to be two pretty evenly matched teams. Both a lot of energy, a lot of excitement coming to the ring. Crowd's certainly interested and involved in this one. They go. As it is, St. Bernardo starting it off against Danger Kid in the ring. Danger Kid with a side headlock. Turns into a wrist lock. Bernardo getting his way out of it. Now the reversal. Cranks it back on Danger Kid to the delight of the crowd. And to the ire of Aiden Agro in the corner. Side headlock by Danger Kid. Bernardo breaks free with that shoulder tackle. Danger Kid already gloating, saying it's too easy. Talking trash to say Bernardo right over. Goes under, now wow. over Bernardo. Great exchange by these two gentlemen. Bernardo going to the top. Nope, he's back. Maybe, maybe. Getting the kind of back into the ring. Excellent save and a big clothesline to follow it up. Nice back elbow there by St. Bernardo. Danger kick. under the clothesline. Got that from Nelson. And here by St. Bernardo going old school. Snapmare takedown by Danger Kid. And the kick to the back. Follows it up. The Irish whip. Big 
blue line had scissors. Beautiful and makes the tag to the RJ Rude. Pop Punk Kid in the ring. Pop Punk Kid in the ring. I'll say it right one of these times, I promise. Double hip toss. And double kicks. The front and back goes for the pin. Two count, and he kicks out. Great teamwork here by Zane LaRue so far. Danger Kid not able to get the tag into Aiden Agro. Zane LaRue just holding control early on, and uh, I don't know, I think these guys are making their work. This so far, they certainly supposed are. to look like. And it looks like they're losing. Aiden's had a lot of words from the side. Flips out of it. He might be going for backslide. No, Danger Kid shoves him off. He was going for an trigger. I believe it's one. Big springboard crossbody. By Rude gets a two count. Danger Kid gets out at two. RJ Rude looking a little frustrated there. Maybe he's just trying to pump himself up. I'm not sure which. But nonetheless, he's, he's staying on. Danger hey, Nagro. Hey, Nagro jumps in. Big fly kick to the back. Drop kick by Danger Kid. Uh, we need to get some, some control here. We really do. Looked like Terrell earlier just running in and with a stuff of Benzaguri. This time it was a big stuff of kick to the back. Same thing for I guess that is what their brand of wrestling is called. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's it's taken advantage of a last referee. Even as he was stepping away there, Danger Kid stepping on the ankle of RJ Root. And now Agro with his feet to the back while the ref is distracted by Danger Kid. Now the tag into Aiden Agro. Some tag work it looks like. Both on the outside. Both drop kicks to the side of the head. That hurt me to watch. RJ Rude gets the elevator doors closed on his face there. Two count somehow gets out. Big kick to the back as RJ Rude clearly in some pain. <laughs> And Agro taking advantage here, choking RJ Root in the corner. And uh, now reminding the referee that he has to five, because that's the thing to do if you're choking the person. Because the ref doesn't know that apparently. Big chop in the corner. The whip, it gets reversed, goes up and over. Agro with a big blow in the corner. Oh, snapmare takedown. One like Pressing one-handed cartwheel and the super kick right to the face. I mean, great athleticism there by Aiden Agro. Danger kid trash talking with the audience. Well, their confidence matched by their skill, it looks like so far. Adam Brunton going down for the cover. Reaching for the tag, he's right there. Uh, Aiden Agro is holding his wrist and pulling him away. He's just taunting him. Mind games, teamwork, Main State Posse, an impressive showing so far. Yeah, they're they're really wrenching, uh, wrenching at the back. These guys have been a unit for some time and they have a lot of experience. They're very comfortable with each other and they're showing that here. Even so much as they know how to get around referee Adam Brunton and, and, and get that extra advantage. The crowd trying to get behind our Rude, big leg drop. Crowd trying to pump up RJ Rude here, but uh, hasn't helped so far. The leg drop dropped the crowd right out of it for a second there. Yeah, that just took the wind right out of his place. RJ kicking out at two, but he's in the wrong part of town. That is exactly not where you want to be. Maybe it was the right part of town. It's hard to take out off of him. So nice they had to do it twice. And then the running bulldog. Impressive. Very quick. Man, Main State Posse has really been impressive. After initially in Zane Rude having the advantage, Main State Posse has really turned it around. Puts it up. Cover. Danger Kid gets out. Rude tried to create some separation there. Danger could close right in, did not allow that to happen. 
Dane just getting back up into his corner. Just coming back. Pump handle set up there by Pump handle. A bad breaker. More of a neck breaker. Got him in the back yeah, of the that neck. Yeah, that was right between the two. shoulder blades there. That was. And he gets out of two again. Heck of a job so far by RJ Root staying in this match. He's eating a lot of offense from the mainstay posse. Yeah, absolutely, but he can only do this for so long. He has to go. I agree. He has to go. It's the wishbone. Only a matter of time at this point. If, if he doesn't get there, it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be elementary for the mainstay posse. If, if Saint Bernardo cannot get, if, if, I'm sorry, if uh, RJ Root cannot get out of there. Agro just taking his time here. Did he get maybe a little too confident here, Paul? Or it's I, working for him? Yeah. Somewhere I, in between? That's the thing, is we're just seeing people, you have a different strategy. If people have different strategies. He's got his feet on his hair. Oh. Come on, Raph. Yanking him. He's got to hurt everything, the hair. Hair off her body, just getting yeah, hard. You're, you're, you're wrenching the guy's shoulders out too. I mean, yeah, the hair hurts, but a hair pull is a hair pull. You know, you don't need your hair to win a wrestling match. You need your arms to win a wrestling match. You need your shoulders. I'm wondering if that's going to come back to fight Agro. He's really letting him get really close. You know, it, it might, but also, he's trying to sap the will out of RJ Roo. RJ Roo can oh. see the curry though. Might. Might be it though. So Danger can run over to the corner. Oh, and oh! God, right onto the apron. God, he pulled him right. Zane right off the apron and he goes face first into it. Echo jumps on the opportunity now. Makes if, a tag to Danger Kid. If Insane LeRude wants to win this match, they're going to have to have eyes in the back of their heads because the mainstay posse is coming at them from every possible angle. Double suplex flip here. Archer Root fighting him off. Put him away. He's up and both away. Still trying to get to that corner, but Zay Bernardo's not there. Now he's in the corner. He's got to get through both of them. Underneath. Crawls under them both. Archer Root pops back there. up. There's a tag. There they go. were confused in the corner. Close line to Danger Kid. Another one to Aggro. Another one to Danger Kid again. Root pumping up. Sorry, that Zane pumping up. The kick to the face. Take down. Ah, the big... Stunner with a pinfall to Danger Kid just getting out of it. Quick flurry of offense from Zane there. Yeah, Zane Bernardo hitting the proverbial cutter out of nowhere. I mean, I didn't want to say it. I didn't either, but it's the truth. He really just came out of, out of thin air and pulled that off. Super kick. Super kick. Super kick into the oh. German. Bridges to the cover. Super oh. German combo. Oh, oh that could not have been any closer to a three count. <laughs> Agro kicking Root out of the ring. Or Zane out of the ring. We got a turnbuckle exposed here. Now Rude. Oh, the double knees to the face. Is this going to be knee? Plants him. Mainstay Posse. first. Mainstay Posse call that move the victim of circumstance. And he was the victim, but his teammate Zane was there to break it up. I don't think Agro realized what happened there. No, great job by Zane Marano. Agro thought they had the match won, and by, by all rights, they should have. Big time super kick. And now Rude. Rolling elbow. Into the unprettier. Turn into a stunner. That could be it. And that is. That's it. One heck of a job at the end of that match. Your winners, Insanely Rude. What? Oh, what? What a job at the end of that match by Rude and Bernardo. Got the streamer trick. Crowd was ready for it. Yeah, rightfully so. And the yeah, Mainstay Posse is here. not happy on the outside. Well, Mainstay Posse said when this match started, this is how wrestling should be. I agree with that statement, but I don't think this is what they had in mind. I don't think they think streamers is how wrestling should be. Let's go, However, great job.
by Insanely Rude. A very hard fought match against two veteran opponents who were coming at them from literally every angle. And they still managed to come away with a win. That shows how offensive both of these guys are. I give me a lot of credit. But Insanely Rude getting it done and getting it done under the rules of wrestling, which I personally appreciate very much. It's an important note to make going forward.